So Tyler, the creator, recently went on a podcast or interview or something and threw shots at what fans are pinning as multiple rappers. A lot of underground fans think he's talking about Opium, Netspend, or Osama Sun, Ian, and Laserdom, which I think is a huge stretch, but hey, it's a slow news day, so I'll entertain it. But the people that he seems to really be quote unquote dissing is Lil Yachty and Ice Spice, so I'll get into that too. But before we do any of that, let's break down his statement. So what did Tyler, the creator, say? He said, there are a lot of artists out there right now who are putting out meme records and they're being treated as real musicians. There's so many n****s out right now that aren't musicians that are getting treated like musicians because they make meme records. So first of all, there's a little bit of like irony because he said meme records and whenever someone refers to a song as a record, it's usually like a serious song. So like you would never call like a and this is no offense to Summers, but you never call like a Summers song a record. You'd never be like, oh, wow, that record was beautiful. Mostly because his fans are all like teenagers, but still, I don't know. It would just feel weird to say something like that. But anyways, I don't think I've ever heard anyone call like an Ugly God song a record or a, you know, any meme rapper's song a record. Anyways, number one, it's very clear he's not talking about actual meme rappers here. And it is kind of like a slight towards somebody. We just don't know who. Because number one, meme rap in and of itself is dead, you know? There aren't really like meme rappers out right now. However, in the underground and even in the mainstream, there's some artists who aren't exactly where they are right now because of their musicianship. What's very ironic about this is Tyler, the creator, when he first dropped Goblin, by the way, that was like his breakout album or tape or whatever. That's what people looked at as him, as him. Yo, dude, but he's not really, he wasn't really respected as like a musician. His music was like weird and he was seen as this funny dude. And even now he's still seen as like a funny guy. Of course, everyone respects him. So anyways, let's get into it. Number one, and this was kind of surprising to me, a lot of people really saw Ian as like one of the people he was dissing. Days Within replied with Ian and it got 200 likes. First of all, that was like a meme album cover that he replied with. But I guess since Ian uses so much like meme marketing in his music, and I guess this is a whole existence is kind of like a meme, he kind of counts. So let's talk about it. Number one, is Ian not a real musician? I wouldn't say so. He's doing what every other one of these like SoundCloud underground rappers do. Hop on a mic, punch in, say a couple lines, this or that, nothing too deep on a kind of unique beat and just doing, doing his thing. Of course, Ian has a big label, Columbia, backing him and a uh, couple TikTok songs and he's doing big things. So does he really fall into this pool of like meme artists that aren't known for their musicianship? I would just say that it's good marketing. So let's cross him off the list. Another person people were saying was, or is Netspend. And the guy in particular said, so stop hyping up Osama Sun, Netspend, Ian, Laserdim, etc. They some of the biggest offenders. Okay, so I don't really, this is just some, this is just like an ignorant re response, I would say, because think about it. None of those guys are like meme rappers, but clearly, or even put out meme songs, but clearly this guy doesn't respect their musicianship, right? And I'm not gonna go out and say, these guys are like crazy musicians, but they're also not meme rappers. Like I enjoy all their music, right? So let's break it down one by one. And I'm gonna start with Netspend. So I can see why someone older wouldn't be into his music. Is it a meme record? No. But what Tyler the Creator said is people are respecting them like they're real musicians. Honestly, people do not respect Netspend as a real musician. It's kind of up to say, but he doesn't have like a ton of respect. He just has a lot of hype around his name. So I would say eh, doesn't really count. Osama Sun. You could say all the same things, just more respect and not a meme rapper at all. Now, Laserdim. Laserdim is a very good contestant for this argument. And uh, you could really think, yo, is this guy a meme rapper or no? I would say Laserdim is not a meme rapper, but you could kind of say it because people just look at him as like a funny guy who makes like kind of funny music. I'm not going to say his music is funny. Like he has hard songs, but people don't. I don't think people play Laserdim more than like one song at a time, if that makes sense. I think people just like listen to some of his music because the production is very harsh. It's clearly not for everyone. And a lot of his songs are funny. Like, you know what I mean, he blew up for like funny lyrics and I'm gonna just say his unique style, if that makes sense. But once again, not exactly like a meme rapper. And I don't think anyone thinks of him as like this crazy musician. So I would actually knock out all these artists. And you could even say somebody like Dave Blunt. But if you actually look at Dave Blunt's music, it's all about like real situations in his life. And most of the music is pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, like he got some bangers. And if you listen to his music, it's also not, it's not really like meme rapper music, if that's what I'm, you get what I'm saying. So I would say none of these artists really fall under that bucket, but yeah, 
I don't think any of them are meme rappers. Anyways, on to who he was probably like actually talking about. So there are two people in particular, and I'm gonna explain why they could be. So Lil Yachty and Ice Spice. So the reason he said Lil why I'm saying Lil Yachty is because one of the things he said in that clip was a lot of these rappers are straight up saying, I don't even like this, I just do it for money. And I believe Lil Yachty, out of either insecurity, just wanting to flex, or even just outright admitting he does rap for money, has flexed how much money he's made in his first year and just how much richer he is than your favorite rapper. So I think Tyler the Creator might be talking about him. Now, in terms of who hip hop respects more, I wouldn't put either over the other. Actually, I would put Tyler over Lil Yachty because a lot of, I don't think Lil Yachty has a lot of respect from overall hip hop fans and Tyler is just more accomplished and more polished of an artist. So makes sense. But neither of them are very like respected by just hip hop in general. Now the thing about Lil Yachty is he hasn't been putting out like seriously good music in so long. Out of every like 10 songs he puts out, like 20, there'll be like one you'll like. Like for example, I believe one year he had Coffin, then he had Poland. Um, and I'll give you an example of like people not really respecting Lil Yachty. His song with Drake, I believe it was called like SOD, they previewed it on Kai Sinat. Like the moment Lil Yachty's part came, I was like, yo, turn this shit off. And that was it. And even like Ian, his song with Ian, you know, people weren't really messing with his part that either. So that's why it kind of confuses me because I don't even think people give Lil Yachty that much respect. However, some people do, so there's that. You know what I mean? And he's also bragged about how much money he's made, so maybe he fits into that. But there's one person who everyone thinks is like the main culprit. But then again, I don't think there's one person. I think he's talking about people as a group and he's just kind of like calling out a couple people in his head. So I don't think there's one person that specifically fits the bill for every single thing he said. And that's why I'm thinking that it's Lil Yachty and Ice Spice. So the second one I was thinking about is Ice Spice, like I just said. And the reason for that, and this one's obvious, number one, Ice Spice, nobody is listening to Ice Spice like that. Like, you don't find people hopping in the car and saying, yo, put on that new Ice Spice. I feel like Ice Spice has been washing through singles, like, or sorry, rinsing through singles over and over as long as she could. So she started off with Munch, and you know, people were pointing the lyrics to that song, and then she found another one, like I think it was called In Her Mood or something, and then she got a couple more. I think one of them was like, you think you're the shit, you're not even the fart. And she would go to concerts and this and that, and she'd just be shaking her ass, and that's what she was known for, really. And she got a Taylor Swift feature. By the way, the reason for this is super funny. Basically, one of Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriends, who she was dating at the time, talked shit about Ice Spice on a podcast. And Ice Spice has a Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion co-sign, so that means her stand, their stands, fuck with Ice Spice a lot. So they started attacking Taylor Swift and then they're like, oh my God, this is a horrible PR nightmare. Like, how dare you? You gotta understand Ice Spice is black. So there are all these like racial lines that start getting like played into it. So it's like, what the hell? And she got her a feature on one of like Taylor Swift's songs. It's like, whoa, what the hell? And you know, the good for her. So that was a huge co-sign. So Ice Spice is like this big. And you know, I once again, this comes back to the respect and you know, just me, myself and no offense. I don't really respect Ice Spice as like a musician. You know, I don't really, like she's decent at rapping. Like she can make a, like, I'm not saying she's not capable of putting out a song that would do well, but it's clearly not like Tame Impala, if that makes sense. But I guess Tyler the Creator is just frustrated that these artists are being treated as if they're serious artists like him. So this is kind of like a pick me thing, like, you know, but at the end of the day, I'll just say this. And by the way, I think Ice Spice fits this most because literally like her ass is like 80% of her career. No offense. The other 20% is her shaking. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. But um, yeah, she definitely fits the bill the most this whole thing but um yeah clearly Tyler the Creator is just unhappy that some artists are getting more recognition than others and it's not because of their music and they're being respected as much as others and they're taking the spots of people like his or him well bad news is that it's only gonna get worse because it seems like the way artists are marking themselves and the way they're coming out is becoming more and more and more extreme and to stand out you just can't be normal you, you just got to be like super talented you got to have like some sort of contrast or you gotta have something about you and it's not really the music nine times out of ten of course maybe spotify blows you up and you get lucky or this or that and i don't know maybe like, you're rich people don't like that either then you're an industry plan so it is what it is good news though i feel like people like tyler who do praise or really crave like you know high level sorry high level craftsmanship and musicianship they're not going anywhere and i don't think those people really respect people like Ice Spice or Lil Yachty even or Laser Dim, or, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, and that's not this is towards any of those artists. This is what it is. I feel like it's two different types of people, two different types of fans, and that's how it goes. Anyways, that was my little yap sesh. Let me know what you think. Is Tyler the Creator just hating? Is he projecting because people don't really respect him that much? Is he totally right? 
Do these artists have to go? I don't know. You tell me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye.